Hey, hello, we play Westland 3, I finished the garbage DLC and now I will show you how to get rid of Holy Radiation. Because it's kind of a marvel of a trick. So you need to let go prisoner in your cell. After this, this guy happened as Brother Beast mod in this DLC. And he have this, anti-radiation shrooms. Okay. Once that done, you buy his entire stock. It costs like 500 per one or 400 per one. Then you quick save. Then you quick load and buy his entire stock again. It will magically reappear. Uh, he have three shrooms. Uh, each shroom removes three radiation. You need four shrooms per character. You have six character, so you need 24 shrooms. It's much cheaper than crafting the stupid rods from the stupid material. Because instead of crafting uh, rods, you can craft weapons, and uh, weapons are much better. Especially fist weapon in this DLC. It's so fucking strong. I actually regret having only one fister. It's, uh, it's you again. Uh, how can I help you? <sighs> uh, if you're interested, certainly. Yes, you see, he's uh, here a stock. You need to buy every shroom, even if you are interested only on one. Mm -hmm. I will show you, I have 12, and that's half, so I can literally, this three character can be pure. Okay, that was stupid since I quick -load. But yeah, I need one more level to max strength, then I will be maxing intelligence or other garbage. Intelligence is actually useless. You know, I was thinking intelligence you needed, honestly. I mean, intelligence might have premise if you wanna read all books on one character. That would be cool. Intelligence point detector outbooks for one character. <coughs> okay, since we reloaded, oh, it's, uh, it's you again. Uh, if you're interested, certainly. We will have three more shrooms. So we have 15. We need 24 again. Quick load. Okay, that will be 8, 13, then notch for 4 character. It's, by the way, this is much cheaper way of removing radiation than the stupid rods, because these rods are worth fortune. You have limited number. You have 400 rods in total in this DLC as well if you do everything for rods. And it's kind of less than 400. And what you wanna craft with these rods, I would say this melee glow definitely goes. And there is the, like crab mini glow, it flash uh, uh, infused something. Uh, how can I, uh, Honestly, interested. I would Certainly. craft all three. So this is the most expensive part. It costs 99 because we have barter. So you play if I pay 400 and one shroom replace you literally 15 rods. By the way, when you have 10 in this DLC, you stand on 10. You don't remove until you finish DLC. There is no value in removing this shit. Just stay irradiated, you will never go back here. Unless you will be out of ammo for crossbow. 
Uh, this guy should still here sells shards. So if you run out of ammo, you can buy like thousand fucking. We'll, we'll probably take Bronco here or something. Not this mushroom guy, the other guy. Ah, it's uh, it's you again. Uh, if you're interested, certainly. Twenty-one. Look at the shrubs. Yeah, nobody sadly value the shrubs. So you need to keep them to yourself, sadly. I hope I saved and loaded, not just loaded, because you see, when you do it so many times in a row, you sometimes can develop like brain lag. <coughs> Especially when you record at the same time. It's you again. Uh, if you're interested, certainly. Twenty-four. This is enough to deviate my entire party. Uh, since radiation, holy radiation exists only in this DLC, and my potential future visits here will be only in the safe sectors, it's safe to assume I will never need to remove radiation. So here is the trade that I was talking about. There is radiation file, this will give you radiation if you step on this. I have 400 crystals. Crystals are ammo for crossbow. So I believe 400 crystals is a note for a while. Even if I will be shooting with both characters. To kind of keep me flow. I will just show you path to this place from exit. As you see, this can give you radiation. If it does, that sucks. Wait, does my I don't know if it has holy radiation. It looks irradiated. Yeah, it might have holy radiation. Honestly, on pets, holy radiation is not that bad. Not now. Old Man Winters and Night Terror. Okay. We can go. I also I would recommend leaving yourself 1% holy radiation uh, because 1% penalties are nothing and I have shrooms from experiment. Yeah, I take tow, this is fast travel. If you didn't know, if you click on radio, you can call for help and they will transport you here. It also heals you. So if you take, take some random garbage uh, environmental damage, you can also heal it here. It's wonderful, seriously. As for my target, I currently have big and I currently have fishing. 
I made fish lips a kisses for joke reasons and it has to also uh, like correspond with his stupid dialogue. Uh, okay, time to eat. Yeah, combat speed debuff is literally gone in three doses. Yeah, now this penalty doesn't look that bad for for this con. Also, your character looks uh, like uh, like it would have cyan energy, not like it would be cursed to death. It's also better on performance. If you worry about this side. Old Man Winter sadly will remain irradiated forever. We also have this holy radiation battery. You can craft this, but I don't fucking recommend it at fucking all ever craft it. Never. Where I make funny mushrooms? I'm stupid, please find them. Oh no, what if they, they are red? No, they are not red. Cannot be red. Where the fuck are mushrooms? Ah, out the here. Very cool. Um, <coughs> that is the best way I found to remove DLC radiation. Here to serve. Okay, and now I will show you why we found this specific way and not other. Okay. You want to preserve every single anti-radiation rod you have. And one moment, I check if I don't have anything here to craft. I can craft those. No, this holy radiation battery, you can craft them. But what you should craft instead... I will find it, it's weapons. This is armors. Okay, and elite pre war attack pants. Yeah, I need five. I will take four for now. Also, in mods, I also need something in mods. Personal drive, I will take all four. And now we craft. Okay, I will show you why we craft this. This is why we craft this. I can craft two, which is also fucking great. Let me out of pistol if weak. Weak. We need this. I can craft four of these things. This is no, I can craft five. I just don't, I running out of scrap, but I can craft five of them. This feast is so fucking good. Is this good? Uh, it uses crystal shard. Ammo type non zero.
I will have to save before I craft this. Okay, I will show you comparison. So this is my old feast. As you see, it has 100 damage, so it's very good. It will be very fucking hard to top that. The feast have both fucking buffs. Okay, let's compare it with this. Absolutely no, no contest. It's like twice the damage. It also looks weird, but it's okay. For this damage it can look weird. You can modify it, I honestly recommend this. Chance to apply damaged armor. Holy shit, that's good, but I don't need damaging armor. Frozen. But frozen would indicate that my enemies would move. This confusion is very good, it applies stunned. Yeah, we definitely want this. I completely cannot decide because I'm such a pussy what to install as damage modifier. This 10% damage holds. With explosion and damage armor. Uh. Yeah, this is the problem There is, like, you don't have universally great uh, modifier for this. But yeah, this is the best melee weapon in the game. No doubts about this. Actually, let's see full sweet aim. Yeah, it fits with sweet, but it fits this. Holy shit, Calamari Ranger or something. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's very powerful. Uh, we have evasion. Evasion here. Yes. Damage here. And resistance to everything. Yeah, this is insane. Um... I, I will probably need to craft second of this crossbow. Actually, this crossbow is so fucking powerful. Okay, this has ammo none, right? Wait. Uh. Let me save. Do I reload this? Or I just shot? I think I just shot, I don't have any reload. Ammo inventory zero, ammo none. Holy shit, I craft this for fucking sure. <laughs> It doesn't have to be good at this point. Okay, using ammo is not exactly a factor. I know. But it's very good damage weapon. I have best shotgun in the game at this point. And this DLC garbage is probably still better or at least comparable. Holy shit, load fast. I probably should not fucking shoot Ranger. I'm sorry about this. We just need to test a lot. 
That here you saved, okay. Okay, I did something good. Yeah, in my opinion, don't craft ammo ever. If some weapon have exclusively craftable ammo from scrap, don't. Is this good? Probably not. Yeah, this has this non ammo. We only crafted one, right? And this throws hearts. This is flamethrower. Uh, how many times it should? Why it's so good? Chance to apply microwave. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanna craft second crossbow. <laughs> mm, I think. Because these crossbows are fucking power. Mm. And this has range, you're pretty sure that having a goddamn whip made out of a goddamn plasma make you at least 8000% fuller. But does it have range? I want this to have range. You know, if this would be range attack. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you.